Former Ontario Premier Dalton McGuinty says he was as stunned as everyone else when rescue efforts were stopped after that roof collapse at a mall in Elliott Lake. McGuinty was blunt in his testimony today on the final day of an inquiry into what went wrong. Our Jennifer Tryon has covered the story from the beginning to the end, and she's back in Elliott Lake for us tonight. Jen? Hi, Donna. This vacant lot is the only proof that a mall ever existed in Elliott Lake. The hope from today, now that the inquiry is over, is that this doomed site helps spark change, both in building maintenance and emergency rescue procedures. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Political instinct told Dalton McGinty something wasn't right when the rescue at the Elliott Lake Mall was called off. What the heck is happening here? Uh, how can this be possible? Uh, why have they stopped the search? Um, I think we're going to need to find a way to do something about this. Sentiment echoed on the ground at the time. I don't give up on nobody. And I know none of you guys do. Rescuers said it was too dangerous to proceed, but public pressure to go back in was intense. Save our families, save our friends. Rescue missions never end. McGinty knew that. So with no confirmation of a second death, the former premier insisted rescuers come up with a plan B. My layperson's plan B was if we can't get at them from the inside, then maybe we could try to get at them from the outside. If that required heavy equipment that we bring in from elsewhere, we'll do that. If it required that I bring in, get hold of the Prime Minister and bring in uh, Canadian Armed Forces, whatever it took. It was only after that the heavy equipment was brought in from Toronto, but it was too late. Signs of life from the hours before were gone. In his frustration, he even suggested calling on 9-11 rescuers. Very disappointed and felt that uh, we, were, we were going to leave a community and um, an individual high and dry. That's how many in Elliott Lake still feel a year and a half later. And after seven months of testimony, they've learned some hard truths about their town. It's been very difficult on the community, absolutely. Uh, the truth coming out, the facts coming out. Just the cover-ups and secret meetings and all that. The state of disrepair? And disrepair, um, believing that people were actually doing their jobs when they weren't doing their jobs. The job now turns to making sense of it all. The commission will have to answer whether Ontario's rescue procedures are the best they can be and address the constant state of the mall's disrepair. And what about the altered engineering reports claiming the mall was safe? Does any of this warrant future regulation? We have to act on those recommendations and not let them collect dust on the shelves. The point is that future rescues aren't off-again, on-again missions, and that future buildings never reach the point of collapse. Like this one, being built across the way. You see over there? That's going to be Elliott Lake's new mall when it's ready in about a year. Donna. All right, Jennifer Tryon in Elliott Lake for us. Thank you.